We're all familiar with magnetism, I mean, fridge magnets and all that sort of thing. We, we come across them every day. But that type of magnetism that we're familiar with is only one of the types. It's called ferromagnetism. There's two other common types of magnetism. One is called paramagnetism, I won't get into that now. And the other one is diamagnetism. And diamagnets uh, are what makes magnetic resonance imaging, MRI scan, is possible. But it's such a weak interaction, you can't normally see it unless you have a precision built setup like a magnetic resonance imager or two cherry tomatoes on a skewer balanced on the point of a pin. Right. And a magnet. You need quite a powerful magnet for this, but it's really quite simple. Once you've got this balance, and that can be a bit tricky, you just need to put your magnet near to the to one of the tomatoes, and you'll notice the whole thing starts to spin round. And that's because the water, actually the protons in the water, the hydrogen atoms, are diamagnetic, and they are repelled by a strong magnetic field. And that, exactly that interaction is what makes MRI scanners possible.